Hello and welcome to Sudoku Pro. Hello everyone, this is Uma Maheshwari solving the 5-star Sudoku puzzle from today's in the newspaper dated 10th January 2023. Let's get started. The, this 4 in column 6 and this 4 in B row blocks these 3 cells. So 4 has to be in one of these 2 cells. Now you have this 4-7 pair in column 9 and a 4-7 pair in column 8 blocking these two columns and now we have 4-7 in this C row also blocking here. So 4 and 7 has to be in these two cells. We have 4 blocking from B row. So B7 takes 7 and A7 takes 4. I would like to share a tip here. Uh, you have this triangle number 347. I have, in my previous videos also, I have mentioned whenever you have such triangle numbers, you need to scrutinize whether these numbers help in solving the puzzles. Uh, we have triangle numbers here also 815 and 384, but uh, this 374 has um, a clue here because this 374 blocks these two cells and we have a 347 in column 6 blocking here. Um, and in F row, we are only left with three empty cells. So these three empty cells will take three, four and seven. Let me mention it here. We have a four blocking here. So F3 can take three, seven. F4 can take three, four and seven. F5 can take three, four and seven. And now the remaining numbers are one, two and five. So these three cells can take one, two and five. In this case, we have not figured out any numbers because we, have, we do not have further clues of 3 or 4 or 7 across or 1 or 2 or 5 across. But this kind of segregation that these 3 cells can take 3, 4, 7 and these 3 cells can take 1, 2, 1, 5 will help us a lot in solving the puzzle quickly as we move on. For example, if you find a clue of 1, 2 or 5 anywhere across here, you, you, you will be easily able to relate here and you will be easily find out the numbers in these cells. Similarly here also, if you find a clue of 3, 4 or 7 somewhere here, you will be able to quickly solve these three cells, figure out these three numbers. So this is just a tip. Um, especially in five star puzzles, wherever you have such long empty rows or columns, this kind of segregation will definitely help you. This five in zero and this five in column four blocks these four cells. So five goes here in H5. Now in column seven, we have five empty cells and the missing numbers are one, two, five, 6 and 9. Um, now, if you take this cell, this cell is blocked by 2, 5 and 9. That means this cell can take either 1 or 6. Now, as I was going through the cells, now uh, you can see here there is a 6 here in column 8 and 6 in F row blocking these 3 cells and 6 has to be in one of these 2 cells that means this six blocks here so g7 takes one this one from zero blocks these two cells so one goes in one of these two cells you have this four in a row and four in b row blocking these two cells so four goes in one of these two cells similarly you have this 4 in E row and this 4 in column 3 blocking these 3 cells. So 4 goes in one of these 2 cells. Now you have this 4 blocking here and this 4 from E row blocking here. And there is 4 from column 6 blocking this cell. So 4 goes in one of these 2 cells. Now you can see this 1, 4 and 8 blocking the cell. You have a 1, 8 pair in column 5 and a 1, 8 pair in column 4 blocking these two cells. We have a pair of 4 in column 4 and a pair of 4 in column 5. That means ideally these two cells are blocked by 1, 4 and 8. 
since we have a pair of four, these two cells are blocked for four. So these, these three cells are blocked for one, four and eight. That means one, four and eight can go in these three remaining cells. Now in D row, there are six empty cells and the missing numbers are we have 1, 4, 8 and the remaining numbers are 5, 6 and 9. That means 5, 6 and 9 can go in these three cells. Now you have 5 here in column 4 and a 5 here in column 5 blocking these two cells. That means 5 can go here. Let's eliminate this and mark 5 here. So D7 takes 5 and let's eliminate 5 from these two cells. We have a 6, 9 matching pair here. Similarly, you have 1 blocking here. So let's eliminate 1 from here. There is a 8 blocking from here. So let's eliminate 8 from here. And there is a 4 blocking here. So let's eliminate 4 from here. Fine. Now you have we have figured out 5 here, we have a matching pair 6, 9 here and we have a triplet 1, 4 and 8. If you see, uh, this forms the same pattern as this F row. In F row also we were able to figure out 3, 4, 7 and 1, 2, 5, 2 sets of triplets. Similarly here you have the segregation of 5, 6, 9 and 1, 4, 8. I made it a long process of exp uh, explaining you uh, about 1, 4, 8, 5, 6, 9 and finding this matching pair and all. But if you know this technique of eliminating numbers, you can, once you see this 1, 4, 8 here and you see this 8, 1 and 8 and all, you will be able to figure out this, figure out that there is a grouping of 1, 4, 8 here and mentally you can quickly work out and find out this 5, 6, 9. Uh, not going here and all that and you will be able to quickly find out that 5 goes here but since I had to explain it looked as a long process but it is not a, a long process it is just uh, that sensitivity to numbers you can quickly find out this 5. Once I found out this 5 and this 6 9 matching pair this entire puzzle became very easy for me. There is a 1 here in a row and a 1 in B row blocking these two cells and there is this 1 in column 7 blocking here. So C9 takes 1. Now we already know that these 3 cells will take 1, 2 and 5. Now you can see this, this cell is blocked by 1 and 5 here. So 2 goes here. We know this 2 and this 5 blocks here. So F8 takes 1 and now this cell takes 5. So this is the advantage of segregating a long empty row of cells into two triplets. Now fine. Now this in this uh, sixth block we have only two empty cells and the missing numbers are 6 and 9. This 6 blocks here. So E7 takes 6 and E8 takes 9. Now in column 7, the missing numbers are 2 and 9. There is 9 blocking this cell. So I7 takes 2 and C7 takes 9. Uh, in this ninth block, there are 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 5, 6 and 8. There is 5 here in H row and a 6 here in 8th column blocking here. So uh, H8 takes 8. 5 and 6 goes in these two cells. We have 5 blocking from G row. So G9 takes 6 and I9 takes 5. Now in column 9 we miss 3 and 8. There is 8 blocking from A row. So A9 takes 3 and B9 takes 8. Now in column 8 we miss 2 and 5. There is 5 blocking from B row. So B8 takes 2 and A8 takes 5. Now in B row there are only 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 3, 6 and 9, we have 
6 and 9 blocking from column 2. So B2 takes 3 and these two, tells, these two cells take 6, 9 matching pair. Now in A row there are 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 2, 7 and 9. You have 7 and 9 from this matching pair blocking this cell. So A6 takes 2, 7 and 9 goes in these two cells. Now in block 1, we have only 2 empty cells and the missing numbers are 2 and 5. There is 2 blocking from column 3. So C3 takes 5 and C1 takes 2. Now this 1 and 6 blocks these 2 cells. So 1 and 6 goes in these 2 cells here. Now this 6 blocks here. So D4 takes 9 and D5 takes 6. B5 takes 9 and B6 takes 6. Now here in this block, that is 8th block, there are only 2 empty cells and the missing numbers are 7 and 9. Uh, there is 7 blocking from column 6. So G6 takes 9 and G5 takes 7. Now in 0, there are only 2 empty cells and the missing numbers are 3 and 8. Um, if you look across here, you have 3 blocking this cell. So 3 goes in one of these two cells. Now that this 3 blocks here. So G3 takes 8 and G1 takes 3. Now this 8 from column 2 and this 8 from column 3 blocks these two columns. So 8 goes here in D1. So let's eliminate, let's eliminate 4 and D1 takes 8. Um, and D6 takes 1 and D2 takes 4. Now in column 1, there are 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 4, 7 and 9. There is 4 and 9 blocking from H row. So H1 takes 7. 4 and 9 goes in these two cells. Um, you are, we already know that 7 and 9 are missing here. This 7 blocks here. So A1 takes 9 and A3 takes 7. Now in column 1, the only missing number is 4. Now in this fourth block, there are only 3 empty cells. Uh, there is a 7 here in column 3 blocking these two cells. So 7 goes here in E2. 1 and 3 goes in these two cells. We have 1 blocking from F row. So F3 takes 3 and E3 takes 1. We already know that these 3 cells take 3, 4 and 7. Now we have three already 3 here. So 4 and 7 goes in these two cells. We have 7 blocking from here. So F5 takes 4 and F4 takes 7. Here the missing numbers are 3 and 4. This 4 blocks here. So C5 takes 3 and C4 takes 4. Now let's fill all the missing numbers. Here in E row there are 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 2, 3 and 8. 2 goes here in E5, uh, 3 goes here in E4 and 8 goes here in E6. Um, here in column 3 the missing numbers are 6 and 9. There is 9 blocking from H row. So H3 takes 6 and I3 takes 9. Here we miss 1 and 6. There is 6 here. So H4 takes 1 and I4 takes 6. Here we miss 1 and 2. There is 1 here. So H2 takes 2 and I2 takes 1. And the puzzle is solved. Hello friends. How did you find the puzzle today? Please share your experience in the comment box. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.